of particle duality. It's almost like the million dollar question for physicists a couple hundred years ago. So what is wave particle duality? It's concerning light. So is light a wave or is it a particle? And that's, I guess, what we'll learn. So first off, what is a wave? A wave is very simple. It's just a disturbance in a medium or electromagnetic field. So, as you can see, this is an ocean wave, and it's, of course, causing disturbances in still water. And then, uh, that's how you will see a wave in this presentation. So, what is a particle? Now, a particle is very simple. It's just a small piece of matter. So, here we got a picture of some dust particles, and uh, you'll be seeing particles as just dots in this presentation. So, now let's talk about the different characteristics. So, if we have a group of particles that are hitting an obstacle, they don't go through, and that's not really too big of a surprise. But now when we have waves, it goes through and around. Secondly, a particle will only impact the obstacle at one point. Whereas if you do that with a wave, it will impact at multiple points. Now let's look at some evidence of light being a wave. So this is Young's double slit experiment. So as you can see, we got obstacle with two slits and a background, and the slits allow light through. So as you can see, the light waves go through the slits, and there are certain points where they overlap. I'm marking them with the black dots, and those form interference patterns as marked with the red dots. So if we do that same experiment with the particle, it impacts at one point, or it impacts at another point, and it's definitely not like we saw before. So, yay, we're done. Light is a wave, and it's not a particle. Well, not quite. Here is the photo that you can experiment. So as you can see, we got some rays of light coming from the sun, and they're hitting a metal surface, which is a table, pretty much. As you can see, photons of light hit it, and a few electrons stray off and fly off. But the thing is, for that to happen, there has to be some sort of mass. And waves don't have mass, but particles do. So finally, what is light? Is it a wave, or is it a particle? Because, of course, as we saw in the young slit experiment, that it acted like a wave, but yet in the photoelectric experiment, it acted like a particle. Here's the deal. Light can act as a wave under certain circumstances and as a particle under others. So instead of them bickering for all that time, they could have just agreed that they were both right. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed, please subscribe. Thanks.